Hello! 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 Um... <laughs> <laughs> So, this game contains disturbing elements and is not suitable for sensitive audiences. Player discretion is advised. Physical aggression and violence, offensive and explicit language, psychedelic and hallucinatory experiences, fictions of blood and gore, themes of insanity and mental distress. I understand. Do you understand? <laughs> The game's called The Sleep Experiment. I've heard that there's actually been tests of, you know, keeping people awake for long periods of times to study the effects on it. And I'm assuming that's what this game is about. So I've never touched it yet. It's been on my library for a long time and i am finally got enough cojones to play it. So let's do this. In the year 1940, Holy in a secret shit. laboratory deep within the Soviet Union, a group of ambitious researchers embarked on an experiment that was meant to change the course of history. Their goal was to create invincible soldiers, individuals capable of staying awake and fighting in the most challenging conditions. To achieve this, they devised a dangerous and controversial experiment, subjecting human subjects to extreme sleep deprivation. And he considered the sleep experiment a failure and a cautionary tale about how far science should not go in pursuit of progress, but I believe the experiment was a success, and you will find out why. Alrighty. Hmm. I was expecting to wake up in a lab, but okay, I've got a running. I can I could run. Oh, Q examines it. Explosive? Uh... I don't like that. Uh, first thing I see when I come up a staircase is a bomb. Okay. Hello? Uh, it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these games. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody pooping? Sir! Sir, do you need medical assistance? Oh, you just. Oh. 9 to 10. 90 to 10. I did not want to do it. Sorry. Sure. I don't know why I just ran at the creepy kid. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd the staircase go? Uh -huh. But I needed 9210 for the bob. I'm, the, I'm a bob diffuser. Better not be pooping. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, your family's covered in blood. Do, do, do. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to get a copyright strike. What is going on? Uh, your families are zombies now. Now somebody's crying behind me. I don't like that. I don't like this at all. 9210! I know 9210! 
Y'all got any of them 92 tents? What is happening? <laughs> Carla? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Carla? Oh, this is wild already. All right, I found the bomb. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I put I put the right one in. I put the right one in. I don't know if I did it right. Kyle, did I do it right? Nothing in your butt? Right. This is so off-putting right now. And here's the thing, if you know me, I don't sleep a lot. So, maybe I was part of... Huh. So maybe I was part of the sleep experiment? Oh, shit! Shit! Good evening, dear comrades. Oh, uh, you own the right Svaranya. of participating in an experiment that will bring benefits to the soldiers of the Soviet Union. Okay. You will receive a gas that oh. has been developed by our scientists that will keep Holy you shit. awake for almost 30 days. Rest assured that the gas is non-lethal and you will not be physically harmed during the course of the experiment. After the completion of this experiment, your freedom will be granted, and you will be able to return to your family. Oh, that's nice of you. The gas will be released wait now. Wait a minute. No, no, wait, hey. Can we talk about this? Hey, buddy! They're gonna gas us! Oh, no. Is that it? Um... Hey, they left me bread. The I'm radio. bored already. Okay. These books are shit. <laughs> I can't wait for this damn experiment to end. <laughs> we just started. Do I get cool books? Oh, all right. Here's the thing. Why would they give me a bed if I'm in a sleep experiment? Okay. Three LW three VHS five MW two LW three. Day one. Sure. We could do I get to take the sausages with me? I'm trying, I'm trying to read. I'm about to try reading. Um. Sir? Uh. Anyways. Uh. 
Unknown serial killer haunts city. Detectives struggle to unveil their dark identity. A wave of brutal and enigmatic murders sends panic through the community. Once our serene and peaceful city has been plunged into a whirlwind of fear and terror with the emergence of an unknown serial killer and a series of gruesome and sinister events, this remorseless murderer has left behind a trail of innocent victims and detectives are battling to unveil their dark identity and bring justice to this hellish realm of crime. Without a distinct crime pattern and no apparent connection between the victims, authorities face a adversary highly skilled at covering their tracks. All the murders have been committed with chilling precision and a complete lack of empathy, deepening the mystery shrouding this nefarious string of events. It is an indescribable nightmare, said a terrified local. We don't know who will be the next victim or what this monster's next move will be. It's like living in a horror movie. Sweet. Oh, I got booze. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. So, where do you get... So, I've got to think, still, while I'm playing this, that my guy is crazy sleep-deprived. Uh... And I don't know if you've ever been sleep deprived, deprived before, but it's wild. Uh. Oh. No, hey, oh, oh no. Hey, 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 sir, sir, stop it, stop it. Oh, my face. Oh, my, my spectacles broke. Oh, I thought it was going to leave me like that. Oh, fuck me. Uh. Super speed. All right. So wait, that's showing a bookshelf. I'm confused already. I have no idea what this does. Regardless, it's cool, but I don't know what it does. I'm just gonna keep moving on. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, this is gonna be a mind funk. I actually kind of like that. Is that a... I thought it was a jellyfish. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some... <laughs> I don't think I like this anymore. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to play the game. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, this is terrible. What the fuck? Oh, that made me nervous. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just got real sweaty for no reason. Is he still like lurking? The grindy axe and thing that scares the shit out of me. You know what it reminds me of is um pyramid head from Silent Hill how he has that giant sword he carries behind him that's 1000% of what it reminds me of 
I go through this? Oh, I can. That one's gonna pop out at me again. I'm gonna leave it there because it looks like that leads to another door. Okay, so there's the plate. So you're at what? 1235. And the other one's 1220. But this just opened up another room for me. That wasn't open before. And I don't think I was in this room. Yeah, I was. This door wasn't here before. So I need the key. How do I get the key? Three eight one. So that should give me the key to unlock that other door. Okay. There we go. Oh man, that was that was confusing. It was basically a guessing game of what was not in the room. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but a new victim has been found. <sighs> The count of discovered dead bodies has escalated to nine. The authorities are clueless about the identity of the murderer. At any given moment, there could be more victims. <laughs> but you knew who the murderer was, right? Why did you decide to hold on to this secret? Was it due to fear or doubt? Your apathy resulted in the deaths of numerous innocent individuals. You could have halted all this with a mere report to the police. You opted to let the murderer walk free, implicating you in his heinous crimes. Wait, me? You chose to be the executioner of those people. I don't uh, know. But this was just the beginning, wasn't it? Wait, what? Please don't be behind me. Please don't be behind me. Okay. All right, I can deal with that. I thought somebody was going to be sitting in that chair behind me and I was about to shit my pants. I didn't do anything! Okay. Okay, buddy. OH SHIT! Oh my god. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh... Hello? 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 Um... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! I don't wake you up in the morning. Do I get my sausage now? Oh, sweet. Oh, his room is fucked up. So is mine. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Alright, well, I'm assuming I gotta go through here. Buddy! 
Okay. Oh, mac and cheese noise. Oh, mac and cheese noises. Oh, come on. This is now a mukbang video. Okay. Okay, buddy. Uh, I do not like that hallway at all. Dort Bottles Forest. I have no clue what this is implying. Oh. Wait, what the... What the fuck? <gasps> oh, 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 shit! What is going on? I'm scared. Don't make it cheese me. Okay, so when I click on that, it puts me into the room. That, that puts me in the room that it's showing on the projector. Under the doormat at the entrance, you'll find the key to my drawer. Inside, you'll discover a weapon. I'm waiting for you for a hunting session. One piece of advice, don't rely on a single shot. Be precise and consistent. What? Can I take the axe? Can I, can I axe somebody? Okay, so I got to go to the room. And it was under... Well, wait a minute. Not that room. Under the doormat. Okay. Th this game is wild so far. Oh, there it is. Alright. Okay, I've got a- I've got a gun! Alright. I'm scared, I gotta- I gotta hunt something. Okay, so now there's a- a different path. Shit. Going on a trip in my favorite rocket. Come at me, bro. I'm scared. I don't want to do this! What are you? Come out with your hands up! It, it was an accident. Oh, shit. I instantly pulled the trigger. Tick, tack, tick, tack. The monster is coming. Come to the window while you still have time. What? Okay, I've got a picture. Cover the window while you still have time. I don't, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. 
I got I have a picture of something. Oh, excuse me. There's there's something under your foot. Sorry, I gotta get I gotta grab it for science. Is there anything of the pooper? No. There's some so there, I got some delicious salami. I have floor salami for anybody. Wait, I had three pictures, didn't I? Oh, that was it was the top piece. Okay. I, anybody want some of that floor salami? You all want that the, the shlabi? Got any of that shlabis? <laughs> oh, okay. At least my salami is okay. <laughs> okay, take take that take that as you will, everybody. Am I in just like a fucking loop here? I don't even know where that window was anymore. Okay, there it is. Is that another is that another picture? This place is a freaking maze. Okay, so it looks like two more pieces. getting there never been more excited in my life to get one one picture oh fuck listen no 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 I already shot you I already shot you Uh, -uh. Nope. 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 Scope. Nope. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, so back of my room. So there's a monster that I saw. Oh, he don't look so good. So there's a monster I saw in the forest that turned out when I shot was an actual soldier. So I'm wondering if the monster that just reappeared there was also a soldier. Okay, so this guy blocked me off. Stop breathing all heavy. Hey buddy, you okay? Buddy? You got any of that flo floor salami? I see, I see some of it right there. Okay, I'm outside. I'm free. Free bird. Free fallen. Uh, okay. Aim in place. What the fuck? Ah, uh, this this fucks me up. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Oh, that's actually really cool. How about you? Okay, that's that's gonna okay, hold on, hold on. We're making progress. Uh, does the kid have a rifle? Uh... I'm cold. Can you oh, light the fire, shit. please? Uh... Yeah. Can? Oh, I didn't do it right. Uh, give me, give me a minute! I gotta, I gotta figure out how to light the fires. We didn't start the fire. It was <laughs> You guys are all wondering, it's been a very long time since I've been trying to place pictures. So my mental stability is a little off. Place the fire. Okay, so I got this one there, this one here. Oh no, do I have to plank it to over here? Shit. Okay, so I gotta get one more board. This has taken me so long to get everything correct. So I've got to go back, and I've got to get the fire. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to hop off this. i get the fire. I have tried. For like... 45 minutes doing this. It, you have to be... Extremely, 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 extremely precise. In your placement. Now I think I'm on the right path. So this is this is as far as as far as I've got. For a game that should have taken less than forty minutes, I've spent nearly two hours. Can you give me the pills on the table? I did it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, pills. I got I got you, fam. Where where's your pills? Those Oh my god. Lady, I don't know where your pills are. Are your pills back in the house? They're, why? Th that is the smallest washing machine I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, the only thing I could think of is I gotta flop through the floor and go back into the main house. Let's just do this. Please, for the love of God, no more picture things. You got you got pills? No, you don't got pills. Oh, for fucking mother puzzle. Why? Why is everything so short? Ma'am, I don't know where your pills are. Gotcha. Wait. Are you... Did you die? Uh... Oh, no, I'm glitched. Oh, I swear. Oh, okay. What the fuck? 
so that door's locked. These aren't. I'm making progress, so I don't give- Oh, do I still have salami? It's not salami, but I'll, I'll work with it. Morning authorized personnel only. It's the first time I've had a flashlight, so I'm excited about that. That fucking clock. I'm assuming if I shut the lights off. Did I come in? I, I shut all the lights off. I want to come in. I got a flashlight. Wait. Did the rooms change when I changed the... 12.35. Did the rooms change when I shut off the lights? Yeah. I have no idea what I just picked up. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I, did I place that there? Gotta be one or two more. <sighs> this whole game is a mind fuck. That door opened. Hey, sir. I'm sorry. I just gotta grab this. Oh! Okay, okay. I knew my uncle was a criminal. Okay. In my childhood, I witnessed him mutilating a victim, but fear kept me silent. Years passed, victims kept appearing. One day, my uncle invited me on a hunting trip, hoping to end the nightmare. I shot him, believing it would bring an end to the oh. nightmare. It seemed like an unfortunate accident to everyone. However, reality became even darker for me. Demons grew stronger. Wait a minute. Soon after this event, my mother fell seriously ill, uh -oh. and I became her caregiver. I watched her health deteriorate over the years as I struggled to provide the care she needed. The burden of her illness weighed heavily on me, and it seemed like the nightmare would never end. Eventually, the inevitable happened, and she passed away. It was a devastating loss that left me broken. Okay. The only refuge I could think of at that moment was the army, hoping that way I would forget it all. But there, the darkness took an even darker turn. I don't like that. Uh... Sure, buddy. Um. So this guy, my guy is a sociopath, is what is this leading up to be? And then I signed up for a sleep experiment. Don't fulfill your given mission. Destroy the building and kill everyone. I already defused it, though. I know it's an explosive. I was here at the beginning. Do I gotta blow it up?
Do I gotta just put in the wrong code? I'm back to where I started a god. I'm assuming I just got a punch in the wrong combination. But. Oh. 9210. I did not want to do it. Sorry. Oh, this was uh, the code from the beginning, I believe. I thought it was 95. 20 or something. Hi, guys. Your, your candles went out. Your, your candles went bye bye. Do I gotta go somewhere else? Is there more candles? I gotta go. <sighs> Please save Carla. Who's Carla? Who's who's Carla? <laughs> Do not worry. I will get you out of here. Wait, oh my, am I holding somebody? Oh my god. What is going on? Like, I'm holding maybe a lady or a kid? I'm getting you to safety, Carla. Oh. Maybe not. Did you think that by saving that girl you could escape me? No. I am the dark shadow of your own consciousness. Okay. I am the dark reflection of your own being. Copy that. I am the monster created by your thoughts and actions. Oh, Kidoki. I am you. Potato sack bag bed. <gasps> Shit! In the first days. Everything seemed normal until the ninth day when one of the prisoners started screaming. Ninth stopping day. Only after his vocal cords broke. After that, things turned even darker. The prisoners began to cover the windows through which they were watched by the scientists with pages of books and their own feces. Okay. On the 15th day, we decided to end the experiment. When we entered the cells, we were horrified. Two of the prisoners were mutilated and dead. The third prisoner was still alive, but his wounds were too serious. He died shortly after being taken out of the cell. At the beginning, however, I told you that the experiment was a success, at least for one of the subjects. Mom used to play the song on the violin. Anyway. I destroyed you. It's over. No, it is not. I forgive you. Oh, what? What? All right. My dear hero, I am writing to express my deep gratitude and admiration for your exceptional bravery on that fateful day. It is difficult to put into words how much your actions mean to me, and how profoundly your selfless sacrifice has touched my heart. I understand the harrowing situation you found yourself in. Originally, the purpose behind the destruction of the building was to cause significant harm, but you fearlessly chose to defy that plan, risking your own life to save mine. It was an extraordinary act of courage, a shining example of true heroism. During those darkest moments, you became my ray of hope. You showed me that a hero is someone who does what is right, even in the face of overwhelming danger and agonizing decisions. Your actions rescued me from an ongoing nightmare, giving me the precious gift of a new chance at life. I want you to know that I hold no blame towards you for the events that took place. You are a genuine hero, and my family, watching over us from the heavens, joins me in expressing heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering bravery. 
You made the conscious choice to save a life in the face of imminent danger, and for this, we will forever cherish your memory. Your courage continues to inspire me, and the memory of all those who were lost on that tragic day will forever be in my heart. With all my love, Carla. Huh. I'm a hero. Alright, that was the sleep experiment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit the buttons and the stuff. You guys know what to do. Thank you for watching.